Hi, my name is Paul and I'm from Perth. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm from Melbourne. I was in Melbourne last June visiting my sister and the last couple of days of my visit I was out with my brother-in-law. And for me it was a Friday evening after work and I felt I really needed to go out and been out for a very long time so I decided to go to a little venue that I hadn't been to for a very long time and fortunately Paul was at that venue. <laughs> um, well, I walked in, uh, the owner recognised me and said to me, Julie, you're still single? And I said yes and he said, right, you're coming to a medieval ball tomorrow night. And I said, really? Okay. <laughs> um, and then he took me over to this little table at which Paul was standing and um, a few of his friends whom I also knew. And um, we were talking about the medieval ball and I said, well, I'm not so sure if I can go because I really don't have anything to wear. <laughs> um, my first words for Julie were, you could go as Lady Godiva <laughs> and I'd go as your horse. <laughs> How is a girl supposed to respond to something like that? Oh, my God. Uh, I just didn't know what to say, so <laughs> I said nothing. <laughs> On the night of medieval, I wasn't sure whether Julie was going to be there or not. But, but I, I went, of course. <laughs> and she went as a princess, and ever since she's been my little princess. And you're my prince. Yes. And the owner of the pot potters next to each other for the dinner, and it was lovely. It really was we special. Got on, we got on really well, and ever since, yeah. It's been amazing and yeah, yeah it was just new yeah. straight away yeah. that there's something special the, the happening chemistry there. was right yeah we had an awesome night and after exchanging numbers the following day i took julie out for coffee and we had a long walk and talk and we got on like a house on fire. Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, even though I had butterflies all through. <laughs> yes. And me too. Yeah. But, but um, yeah. And then he dropped me off at my mum's, which is where I was staying at the time, and um, we were parked outside in his sister's car, and it was yes. like we were teenagers again. Um, we had our first, our first kiss. kiss. <laughs> and um, yeah, we were just talking for ages, yes. weren't we? Yeah, it was, mm. it was great. But the next day, I had to go back to Perth. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, we, we missed each other so much. And it was only a couple of days that we knew each other. Yes. And um, yeah, and but within a week, there's so much special. But after a week, I called said me. I. And Carl and said, I love you. And so I thought, oh my God, I feel the same way. It was yes. only a week, but we knew. Yes. And um, yeah, so shortly after that, I got on a plane and visited Paul in Perth. And we had an awesome time, beautiful beaches. And yep. showed you a little sight. And, and I came back to Melbourne. Yes. And still, um, again, missed each other. So much. It was... Yeah, it hurt, hurt a lot, and yeah, I loved Julie so much. After three weeks, I decided to pack uh, pack my bags, and I drove over to I drove over to Melbourne just to be with Julie. And he arrived only a couple of days before his birthday, and I booked um, a place at the Crown Casino, and we had a magic time there for a couple of days. It was really special. Yes. And ever since then we've had it, it's been magical between us. Yeah, it's like yes. a dream come true. And on our first Christmas I put, a, I put a surprise gift in Julie's stocking and when she opened it <laughs> I, I proposed to Julie. Of course I said yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, our first Christmas together, just yeah. us two. And... Um, yeah, I always wondered what, how would you know when the right one comes along and you just know yeah. when you know. Yes. And we haven't uh, set a, a date I yet. Guess, or... But we love our wedding on the beach. Yeah, and we were talking about that. Yeah, Julie's never been out of Australia. It. <laughs> but she has her passport now and 
Hermione would be awesome. It would be icing on the cake, yeah. would it? <laughs>